Next we're going to do these shift rails. So these two pieces are identical and reversible. They actually go in there facing each other. These two shafts are not identical. You see one has evenly spaced grooves and one has two grooves closer together. And then here's your small pieces, the spring-loaded balls that actually go into these detents. I'm going to set those aside for a bit. So, one of these goes in first. Doesn't really matter which one. And then we want to take the pin with the evenly spaced grooves. And those are going in the front of the case. roll pin is already in the part right here. I left it in there on disassembly. It was driven out this direction. So the grooves go on the side where the holes are because that's where your detents go. And I'm going to put some oil on some stuff here so it goes in. So it's got some oil in there. shaft has to be turned so the detents face the balls. And then we're going to drive that pin back in. Alright, I got my housing positioned here on the block so that I can uh, get my hammer in there. I got the pin in there with the detents towards the holes and the shift fork down. I'm going to rotate this so because I need to drive the pin down. I'm going to eyeball the hole vertical and I'm eyeballing the pin vertical. And we're going to move this over to where we think it's going to go in the hole. There is a decent chamfer there. Feels like it's engaged properly. I'm going to take a pin punch and put through here and see if I can find that hole. Okay, so I was not in the hole. Now the pin's protruding inside a little bit, and what you can do is you can feel where the pin is inside that chamfer now. So I'm going to line up the pin a little better. this one in there with the grooves facing towards the hole. Now we want to get out your little parts and the thing I do to get these balls in there is just take the shaft, put the one in there and you can just drop your ball in there and it'll find the hole pretty easily. Okay. So here, if you 
put this piece in first, it won't get the spring around it. But if you put the spring in first, you'll be able to put this in the middle of the spring. Okay. So you got the ball and you got the spring with the little bar in between them. Now the other ball is going to sit on top of that spring. We're going to put a little bit of oil on this first. So it's in there. You want your detents towards this end. facing the ball. It doesn't matter at first because you're going to be turning that thing around to get this shaft on there, to get the pin in. Okay, now we got to get the ball and the spring in there. So you get a punch that fits this hole. top of the spring and you push the ball down in there now you got to have this other one in the detent to give you enough room to let that go down in there and that don't work because I pinch punches in the way so I'm going to take a punch that's undersized, a lot smaller than this hole, so I can move the punch off to the side when the pin starts coming through. So now I've got to push down on this with this punch, line up the detent on the other pin to allow the ball to go down into that groove because you need that extra space. Then I'm going to jam that in there until it knocks the punch out of the way. And then we pull the punch out. Now, you can feel the detent snap right in there. So we got that right. All the pieces are in between there. So now we're going to rotate this pin, find our hole, and we're going to Go put that roll pin in that hole. Okay, I got my hole lined up. The detents are on this side. So when I flip this up this way, we're going to try to find that hole and put the pin in there. Found that one a lot easier there. At that point, all your detents should work. put the transmission together here. You generally want to start with your right side plate. I've got my uh, special table here with the hole in the middle of it. I've got some special fixtures here to raise up. This piece needs to be high enough so that this shaft can come out the bottom and not touch anything. This piece here is the first one to go in. That's your input shaft. I'm going to put a little dab of oil in here just to make sure there's some oil in the bearings when we get started. This one's packed with grease. So I'm not going to mess with that one.
want some oil on your shaft and on that seal help the seal help the shaft go through the seal when it gets down there now to push this in I think I want to support that seal so I have a socket that fits it's going to support the seal near the outside part where it's strong just in case we we try to push the bearing out the other side. We don't want to push that out. I don't know how hard this is going to be to push in. It should be a slip fit. There we go. That's pretty nice actually. It's a pretty snug fit because you want your uh, inner race to turn with the shaft. So the next piece to go in is this big gear. And that feels like it's should slip in there similarly so a few drops of oil on the bearing just for good measure okay so that's a good slip fit Okay, we're going to put a little oil on here, because that's where your bushing rides. I'm going to put some oil on the axle. couldn't find gaskets to buy so they don't make them anymore at the wheel horse dealer or the Toro dealer so I made some this is gasket material from Auto Works if you're going to use gasket sealer this would be the time to put it on now I'm only going to use a few drops of gasket sealer to help hold the gasket in place so that uh, so it stays in place when I'm messing with it basically 